Hi guys, it's your girl Gertrude, or you can call me Kinley, anything you wish to call me, I'm a liar. So I'm here with a, another video, and um, hmm, it's a story time, story, story, story. <laughs> but then before I start... I'll wait for you guys to subscribe. Subscribe. And by the way, today I'm not, I'm not taking tea. I've got a cup of chairs. Of a glass. A glass. Hmm. I hope you have subscribed. Anyway, this is a story that happened uh, late last year. <laughs> so... Uh, if you have watched our the first videos that we did, the first two videos, there's Mars. I got my two sisters, Angie and Val. So this happened. Um, Angie got sick, and then I took her to the hospital. So at the hospital, you know, when people are uh, they are conducting tests and stuff, so had to remain outside i mean at the sick bay waiting room to wait for her to get tested and you know get medical checkup and stuff and so uh i don't know if i had my phone with me or i didn't okay i think i had my phone because I remember that day, I was just from school, like, you know, my classes were done by around 11, so I came back home and took her to the hospital. But I guess I had my phone, if I'm not wrong. No, 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 I didn't have my phone. I didn't have my phone with me. So I'm, I'm just at the sick bay, so, like, I'm, I'm so bored. I can't, like, you know, chat and stuff. And then there's this guy that approaches me and he's like hi i know you from somewhere and i'm like okay what do you mean i've never seen you in my goddamn life who are you and then he says that i even have your number i'm like hold on how is that possible i've never even seen you so i was like oh my god then i tell him okay if you have my number what's my name and may I just see may I just see that number you're talking about <laughs> and then he shows me a picture of a certain lady that he is claiming to be me and that's not me it wasn't me <laughs> by the way guys be aware of stalkers so this is just one of my stalkers like you know so Angie gets out of the doctor's office and then we're like I tell him okay nice to meet you but I'm not the lady so I'll just take my leave so he follows us to uh, Angie was supposed to have a test run on her so she fo he follows us to where and you were supposed to be having this test done. And I'm like, okay, what were you here for? So the guy's like, I should help him with my number. And remember he said he had my number, so I don't understand. So he says, I, sh I should help him with my number. And he insists, you know, you know these nagging people, you won't leave you until you do that. So I was like, okay. It doesn't hurt. Let me just give him my number. So, because the tests are already run through and we're supposed to go home. And if you know me that way, I never show people where I live. Unless you're my friend. And by the way, if you're a guy and you know where I live and you think we are dating, we're not. I'm sorry. Your friends. <laughs> and if you're my friend and you, you're aspiring to be my boyfriend in the future, please 
I don't know. I I don't know where I stay. I don't know because it's not healthy. This is my inch. Oh, this is my inch. Shit. They can do you dirty. So, but I know goes on. Nobody knows. It's my my house is my paradise. The only place I can be safe in. So. No one knows. Just my friends. Yes. So this guy is like following us, and I'm like, okay, if we continue like this, <laughs> if we continue behaving nomad, this person will treat us abnormally. So I, you know, I I I give him my number just to let him off. So. He says okay i'll call you so i go i get home and i get i get a missed call and then he texts and says it's me who's met at the hospital and then immediately i block him so i block calls i block whatsapp i block i block normal messages yeah so it takes like a, a day he keeps on calling with a different number i think it's him but it takes a week so this one time i'm like from school and i'm so pissed off i don't know what happened i think i had a bad day so i'm home i'm just like opening the door and then just sitting to relax you know and then i get a call i'm like hello who's this and then the caller says it's me and i'm at your place i'm like Hold on. What do you mean you're at my place? How did you even know where I stay? <laughs> See how funny that is? So, you know, I'm like, he will think, 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 think. Okay. There's nothing wrong with the screen, though. I'm waiting for you to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Hmm. Also, I'm like, he think, 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 think. Then the first thing that comes to mind is telling you, you don't stay where you stay. So I'm like, okay, I moved out. I don't live there no more. And they get pissed off. They get pissed off. And tells me, okay, let's meet up. I'm like, dude, don't you just realize I don't want anything to do with you? Why why are you doing this? So I hung up and block him. And and if you guys can remember okay my friends can remember because i think i posted that last year so yeah okay the moral of the story you guys be aware of stalkers this is someone i don't know who claimed to know me and actually traced where i live without me giving him directions or something so it's quite dangerous thank you See you soon. Bye.